G'day guys, Ron here from Osborne Digital Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT for SEO. Let's jump into it. So what we're going to do initially is we're going to use ChatGPT to analyze sitemaps and create superior content briefs. So let me show you how to do that. First thing that we want to do is you want to find your competitor. Go straight to their sitemap. Check it out. Now, if you don't know how to find a sitemap, just normally this will work for you is forward slash sitemap.xml. You can grab it that way. You can even grab a HTML sitemap if possible, but we've grabbed the XTML one. All right. So all we're going to do is I'm going to go to chat GPT. Now I recommend using GPT-4. Do not use the earlier models, just not as good. You'll want to always use the latest stuff. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So first things first, I have created a prompt that you guys can use. Now I'm going to paste it in here to try and speed these up because I find the things with chat GPT drag on too long. So what I'm doing is analyzing the competitor sitemap, provide me with a better SEO optimized titles. Using those titles, you generate, create a far superior content outline to help our client rank their site. Here's the sitemap URLs. So all we're going to do is just grab all this stuff here, guys. Copy this. Let's come over to chat GPT. Paste this in here. Okay. Now this is going to spit out exactly what we wanted to do. It's going to look at this sitemap here and it's going to start spitting out similar pieces, but then also creating actual outlines for the content as well. That can be really, really powerful. So what should happen is this should start producing content outlines for us. Now, ChatGPT, it has its days, and I'm actually interested to know if you feel the same opinion. So I actually think that ChatGPT has on and off days. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about that and if that is the case. But as you can see here, it's doing what we want it to do. So I grabbed the stop, it created the top strategies to prevent costly sewer repairs in Miami. And now it's creating the category and then the subtopics of it as well. So that is one way that you can utilize chat GPT for SEO. Now, the next one is creating topic clusters. So I'm just going to stop this right here, guys. You get the point. Now, same thing. I like going new chat, coming up here, GPT-4, just doing it all over again. So creating a topical cluster as an example for keywords. So here we go. I'm going to, again, paste in the thing I've already created so we can get straight to the point. Using the target keywords, and I put in quotations, hot water repair, create seven different supportive topic clusters with subtopics that will further support the cluster. So that is something that you can do with chat GPT, because if you have a main piece of content, which is your hot water system, like your hot water repair would be the main service that you're offering on your plumber page. You want to then have some additional topics to go along and actually support that. You know, the stock standard sort of three to five range. Why not go seven? Just a little bit extra because you might look at one of these clusters and be like, eh, doesn't really hit that point. But as you can see, it's talking about the cluster. But then it's adding in subtopics as well that you can utilize for your H2s. But not only for your H2s, but it might actually be tying in the other relevance of it. So if you've only got seven possible things, well, there might be a lot more, like how to repair a hot water system, how to identify problems with a hot water system. This is pulling in the subtopics to help you extend that out and to cover all of the areas. This is another great way that you can utilize chat GPT for SEO. Now, the next thing that you can do with chat GPT for SEO is utilize it to generate keywords. So again, I'm going to stop that one here. Let's come up to new. Now, generate keyword IDs. So let's grab this thing right here. Let's paste this bad boy in. All right. So I'm using, using the target keyword plumber in quotations, generate additional uh, commercial intent keywords that will help drive up leads because you might be sitting there going, what keywords are related to my business? Well, there might be a lot, but what's the point if that doesn't make you money? There's no point in going out there and spending time and effort and dollars on you producing content, researching content, if it doesn't make you money. So here are some actual keywords that could possibly drive leads. So 24 hour plumber, emergency plumber, local plumber, affordable plumber, experienced plumber, licensed plumber, residential plumber, commercial plumber. These are all uh, possible commercial intent terms. 
I need someone. These people looking for this type of stuff, they've got their wallet out. They're ready to spend because they need your service. That's why I use commercial in there compared to just keywords. Because keywords could talk about how to find a plumber here and do it. Like, they are, they're looking for a plumber. They know what they need. So why not go further down the funnel? That's another thing you can use ChatGPT for in SEO for. Now, creating blog ideas is also another great thing you can do with ChatGPT. So let's grab this bad boy here. All right, so create 10 insightful blogs is what I'm going to be using now. So let's go to four, paste this here. So create 10 insightful blog articles that will help convert readers along with providing supportive content to target keywords. And the target keyword is Miami Plumber. So again, let's have a look at this. These are types of things that you can really benefit for because I'm gonna be completely honest, it starts getting hard thinking about blog ideas and blog topics. It, it does get a lot, and I'm sure you know. And why not use this awesome, amazing tool to help us maximize our efficiency with our clients' campaigns? Because if I can do more for less, I can win more for my client. I can charge less if possible. And there we go. Everybody wins. So as you can see here, it's starting to lay out a bit of a summary. You've got different topic ideas. Absolutely marvelous. Now, the other thing you can do is create meta titles and meta descriptions with ChatGPT. So as an example, I'm just going to grab this one here, guys. This bad boy's stop that. I'll just paste it in this. So I create a meta description for this blog title. Why choose a Miami plumber for your plumbing needs? It should be so eye-catching that it makes that people must click it. That's what we want to say to chat GPT. Hey, make this so engaging, so unavoidable that people will see it and want to click. Let's see what it spits out. Let's see if this is unavoidably clickable. So discover the top reasons to choose Miami, Pl Miami Plumber for your plumbing needs. Uncover expert solutions, local experience, and unbeatable service that guarantees your satisfaction. Click now. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I'm clicking on that. I think I'm clicking on that. I think I think that plumber gets my business. I think they do. Now, that isn't the limit of chat GPT for SEO. There are a ton of things you can do with this amazing tool, but I just gave you some things that I use this tool for now in my practice. This is what we do. It helps to cut down, it helps to create inspiration, especially the commercial keyword one. I really like that one because that's how we actually find a lot of other keywords. We always start with competitor analysis, but that takes time. So why not start with ChatGPT now? So I've changed my SOPs where we start here, then start looking at competitors. It's a brilliant way of doing it. ChatGPT is an excellent thing that you can utilize for your SEO campaigns. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you like and subscribe. Return that lovely favor. If you have any YouTube suggestions, click that link down below, guys. There is a link. You can go ahead, fill out what videos you want me to make, and I'll be happy to make them. Cheers.